Hey everybody, this is just a really quick video to get some practical information to you about the DJI Mavic 2 Pro and the zoom for that matter. It's kind of a follow up to a video I did on autofocus, manual focus, and autofocus continuous. Now a couple of guys in the comments of that video mentioned a feature that the original Mavic Pro has, so I looked into it and lo and behold, the Mavic 2 series has it too. It's called Peak Focus Threshold. And what it does is it adds red lines around the edges of uh, objects to indicate what's in focus. So it's a really great feature and I tried it out. I'm gonna show you how to do it in a few moments. Now this is a feature that many DSLR cameras have, but I'm gonna show you how to find it, turn it on, uh, and get it all set up on your Mavic 2 Pro or Zoom. Now the other thing I wanna share with you today is where to get a PDF of the full manual for the Mavic 2 Pro and zoom. It's going to have a lot more information in it than the quick start guide that comes with the drone. So check the description box below for a link to that. And I'm also leaving you a link to an online manual for the DJI Go 4 app. Now it would be great if these were packaged with the drones, but you're going to want to get a hold of these documents in order to really get to know and get the most out of these amazing machines. And YouTube is really good for research, but most of the questions we have can be answered by referencing these manuals. All right, I'm going to show you how to access peak focus threshold in just a moment. But first, welcome to the Gadget Inspector channel where we're into all kinds of drones and all kinds of gadgets. If you're into that, you are in the right place, my friend. Subscribe to the channel for more and don't forget to click the bell or else you may never know when I upload new videos. Okay then, let's go. Okay, so we're out here with the uh, DJI Mavic 2 Pro. I'm going to show you guys this uh, uh, focus peaking. So just go into your settings here. I think I already have it turned on. There it is, peaking threshold. So yours is probably gonna be on none, but you can change it to normal, low or high. I've been just leaving it on normal and that's been good enough for me. All right, let's go ahead and get in the air and I'll show you what this looks like. And Okay, so as you can see, see those red lines? They're on the ground, they're on the trees in the in the background there. Turning. You can see the red lines on the trees there. So that's indicating that all of this is in focus. Okay. Yeah, let's fly it out a little bit. Why not? back here okay all right now let's go ahead and give it some altitude let's take it on up and then uh, we'll see what it looks like in the uh, in the distance there so there you go you can clearly see see there on the left there the lake so this can pretty much give you the confidence you need that you are in focus.
Okay, so you can clearly see this. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So, I already felt like I had pretty good confidence in the um, in the autofocus after I did that last uh, video test. But now, I think I definitely will be leaving this on for now on. Um, because it definitely will give you more of a confidence in in whether your video is in focus or not. So we've got stuff in the background, stuff in the foreground, and it is all in focus according to According to what I'm seeing. See that? Excellent. Hey y'all, there you go. I hope you found this video useful. Now if you have discovered any tips or anything helpful that you'd like to share, leave it in the comment section below to help the rest of us out. And as always, until we meet again, be good to somebody and be good to yourself. I will see you in the next one. Later.